assalamu alaikum so this is the second part of our lecture so till now we study about the contact forces which are the forces which occur only because of the physical in contact of two objects and action at a distance force is a force which cannot be seen but it's not physically in contact but it's always there and attracting the other object now we will study about the all these types of forces one by one so first one is the applied force so first we take the word definition an applied force is a force that is applied to an object by a person or another object if a person is pushing a desk across the room then there is an applied force acting upon the object the applied force is the force exerted on the desk by the person so from the uh, from its uh, name applied force it's clear that something is applied on that and whenever something is applied this mean it is physically in contact so as in a picture you can see the person is physically pushing the box so it is an applied force example of applied force and this applied force is in the example of contact forces because the person is physically in contact with the box second is gravity force i am doing this randomly so that whenever you will study this lecture and you will uh, study the definition so you will think about that this type of force is in from contact force or from the action at a distance force so the first one was applied force that is was from contact forces and the second is gravity force so what is a gravity force the force of a gravity is the force with which the earth moon or other massively large object attract each other object towards itself by definition this is the weight of the object all object upon the earth experience a force of gravity so uh, we all know that gravity always attracts uh, whatever there on the earth or if we go out in the space all the planets and those they are revolving around each other because of the gravity force so gravity force we know all but what type of force example is this of gravity is it from the contact forces or from the action at a distance so as we know we cannot see the gravity so this is not in physical in contact with us or with any other object but it is there and it is always pulling the object towards it so which is not in physical in contact with each other that will be action at a distance force so gravity force is in the second action at a distance force now the third one is normal force the normal force is the support force exerted upon an object that is in contact with another stable object for example if a book is resting upon a surface then the surface is exerting an upward force upon the book in order to support the weight of the book so from the uh, from its name normal force mean that uh, there is not some type of special force acting on this box if a box is or a book is rest position on the desk so what type of forces are there the only force due to the gravitational force acting upon the box is its weight so weight is pushing it downward as it's written if a book is resting upon a surface then the surface is exerting an upward force upon the book in order to support the weight of the book so why it is on rest because it is the normal force is cancelling the weight force so anything on the rest you can say is expressing the normal force so what is normal force it is a contact force or action at a distance force it is a contact force why because it is because of the weight so weight is in physical contact with the book or if it is a box so that's why anything in the physical contact is called contact force now the second one friction force 
the friction force is the force exerted by a surface as an object moves across it or makes an effort to move across it there are at least two types of friction forces sliding and static though it is not always the case the friction force often opposes the motion of object for example if a book slides across the surface of the desk then the desk exerts a friction force in the opposite direction of its motion friction results from the two surface being pressed together closely so it is also clear that physically the two surfaces are in contact the the object is moving if it's in moving in the forward direction then the table like for example if we are sliding the book on the table and we are sliding the book forward then the friction from the uh, occurred because of the book and the table interaction the friction will be in the backward direction so it is in physical in contact so friction force occurs due to the sliding of two objects and in sliding they are physically in contact with each other so it is also the example of contact forces another one is air resistance force the air resistance is a special type of frictional force that acts upon objects as they travel through the air from the picture you can uh, more clearly understand that where the air is resisting when a paratrooper is jumping so parachute is working only because of the air resistance because the paratrooper is coming down because of the gravity and the air is pushing it upward and this can uh, help him a little bit lift so this type of air resistance is this force will frequently be neglected due to the magnitude and mathematically it is most noticeable for objects that travel to high speed so the air resistant example is not only the paratrooper if you are moving on a bike or a bicycle or even a car more fast you will move more air resistance you will face it is also a little bit friction that we study in the previous slide friction was due to the two objects in contact with each other and friction was in opposite direction in air resistance is also the same if the paratrooper is moving downwards the air resistance is acting upward in the opposite direction if you are moving on a bike you are moving forward but air resistance will be in the backward direction so what is air resistance is it a uh, contact force or action at a distance air resistance it's physically in contact because a person or paratroop and the air you can feel when it's resist with you or with your bicycle or your car so when it you can feel it so this mean it is in physical in contact with you so that is contact force next is tension force tension force is uh, also physical in contact as we study earlier but uh, its definition as it said the tension force is the force that is transmitted through a string rope cable or wire when it is pulled tight by forces acting from opposite direction like if you take a rope and two persons are pulling the rope towards uh, themselves so a tension is created on the rope tension mean too much force is applied on it and in simple words you can say tension is a type of force which occur just before the breaking of that object for example if the rope is not too much strong you can say a thread and two person pull the thread from the both side in opposite direction so it will take uh, create a lot of tension on the rope or a thread that it will break but if the rope is too strong still even it will not break but if the two person will 
uh, pull uh, the rope in opposite direction so it will create tension on that object so what is uh, it is it a contact force or action from the distance as you can say that tension force only occur if the object is pulled in opposite direction with a force by, uh, by a person or even tidying up a board with something so it is in physical in contact so it is also called a contact force and the last one is spring force the spring force is the force exerted by a compressed or stretched spring upon any object that is attached to it so it is very clear that something is attached with a spring and what is the working of the spring spring is something which will come to its original position but before that it will move forward and backward direction so any object attached with the spring and moving forward and backward uh, you can say compressing or stretching so this is called the spring force so spring force is also the example of contact force because the object is in physical in contact with the spring so whatever force we study no matter it's a friction force spring force tension force it will be always measured in newton and this we already studied in our previous college fsc so before go to the theory of relativity i will give you a little homework so in the all the forces which we study today in contact or action at a distance force you have to write two example for each of the force from our daily life and the examples which we discussed in this uh, ppt or the, in this lecture cannot be repeated each student have to give the new example for each of the force like friction force tension force and gravitational force electric force all these forces two example each force you have to write it down and i will check that in our uh, next I think next lecture is on Monday so on Monday I will check this so then last topic is about the theory of relativity before we start the laws of uh, laws of forces that is Newton's law first we will study about what was the difference between the Newton and Einstein theory according to the Newton as the uh, gravity was just the attracting force or the force which is pulling the object but we cannot see that there was no proof for that but in FSC we study about the relativity theory theory of relativity that says that the basic idea is that instead of being an invisible force that attracts the object because the Newton said it was an invisible object gravity is a curving or wrapping of space the more massive of object the more it wrap so the like uh, our earth is quite heavy so because of its wrapping the moon is revolving around it sun is more heavy so all the planets are revolving around it so you can say that newton discovered the gravity but the proof was given by the einstein in the theory of relativity so this theory of relativity and Newton and Einstein theory this we will discuss in our face to face lecture uh, for today's lecture you go through all these types of forces and do this homework two examples for each of the forces and if you don't understand anything then in the face to face lecture also uh, we will discuss for uh, a little time and you can discuss whatever you don't understand here and then we will move towards our last topic of mechanic physics that is about the laws of motion so this was our today's lecture and thank you